in my garbage for it. Someone also said, why do Americans use so many paper plates? Do we? You're right. You probably agree with them. Me? Yeah. You hate that I buy paper plates. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes or all the time? I need them sometimes. I use them. You do. I feel like you really do need them sometimes. Yeah, you really do. I'm not denying that. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, nice pull up, babe. Mm. Well, you way to pull up. Well, it's $43 now. It, was, it used to be $39.99. Now it's $43. It's crazy. Went up $3. Hey guys! I'm gonna try turning it this way so I can read your comments. I'm making shrimp palm. My husband already made the marinara sauce. It's cooking. Um, he cleaned the shrimp for me. He literally like just took everything out for me just to cook it. Basically, thanks, babe. You're the best. Good try. And now, if you hear that, it's quiet. Do you hear quiet? Wow, what's happening? Why is it quiet? Um, so my egg, I just do eggs, and I do put a splash of heavy cream, or like, you know, milk, half and half, whatever you have. I'll put a little salt in there, too. And then I'm going to show you guys uh, the breading for my shrimp, which honestly is the same breading I yeah. use for my chicken cutlets, too, because everyone wants my chicken cutlet recipe. And it's literally the same breading for both. Thank you, guys. Wow. Yeah, he's pretty good, my husband. I told him, wow. When I first got with him, he like he was obviously living alone. And he did cook, you know, decent for a man living alone. He definitely got better, though. Let's keep it real. Alright, cheese, which I can't, I have to be scarce with the cheese today because I only have this much left and I'm also making them pasta, so. Um, let me get my fresh pasta. My oldest is five. Thank you. My husband probably begs to differ. I'm not charming all the time. Let's just be real. <laughs> the crab salad in the fridge is iconic. Guys, I still love crab salad. I actually was um, thinking about... I got this one crab salad from this one shop, right? That it's like the best one. It's always fresh. And they use like different type, different texture, like Connie. But I've never had one that tastes that good. So I drive to this one shop, right, that has it. I was like thinking about doing that today, but I really needed a nice food shop. And I don't love their, their uh, produce. So I chose, you know, Trader Joe, which is obviously my favorite. So I put breadcrumb. I put two handfuls of locatelli. I only have like probably... 20 shrimp so it's not i'm not gonna be making a lot of breadcrumb um i'm gonna put salt i'm gonna put papa i'm gonna put onion powder olive powder and I'm gonna put fresh parsley I'm making shrimp parm so my husband already started the sauce he made like a quick marinara and I'm just breading and frying the shrimp and then I'm gonna just assemble the parm bake it really quick and make a little pasta he wants angel hair so that's what he brought up thank you Let me get some fresh parsley. So I went to Walmart today too. I actually started doing um, like a day in the life, but I, I honestly never post 
my days in the life the same day. I feel like that's just like security reasons. Um, and I went to Walmart today. Yeah, I, I always get a huge thing of parsley because we use it. I, I use a lot of parsley. And I feel like I go there before I food shop for certain things because you can't get everything at Trader Joe, obviously. Um, and then I also would go to like the butcher for meat because I also can't get all my meat at Trader Joe. But um, they had organic parsley there. It was a dollar like 15 or something. And look at that. Look at how big that thing is. And it's beautiful. It's literally beautiful. But you keep it on your counter. You put like a little water in the bottom of the cup and it like basically just stays alive. I mean, I only have it for like a few days. An eyebrow tutorial. I don't do anything to my eyebrows. I get them done. I never touch my eyebrows. The only thing I do is put like clear gel or I put castor oil on them, which is like helps with the um, hair growth. bread them and then we'll fry them together so this is what the breading looks like you know simple i just like to add the fresh parsley i feel like when they get a little crispy at the edge it just like brightens it up especially if you're eating fried food you need like a brightness to it so my husband cleaned the shrimp They're, they were colossal shrimps they actually were very nice I'm gonna bread them. I, I don't dip in flour here. I just go straight to the egg. We don't dip in flour. So right now I'm just dipping it in the egg. I'm gonna turn you. I'm gonna get my fucking bills on the refrigerator. <laughs> and that's it. Get a nice little padding on it. And then you're gonna fry these before you put them in the oven. Just quick, just to get some color on them, like a quick fry. And then when you put them in the oven, you really just want them to get, um, you know, the cheese melty. But look how beautiful that is. These are beautiful shrimps. Believe it or not, this was, because I read this whole thing. Somebody back me up if you know anything about this. I read this whole thing about frozen uh, seafood that if you get it from, like, the grocery store, the frozen is way better because it's frozen at peak freshness. And the stuff in the case, they just take it from the freezer section and put it out. Am I right? Because if so, I've been buying only for only frozen now. And these are actually organic colossal shrimp from Target. Guys, the Good and Gather brands. And they're they're actually beautiful. I ran in there because I again forgot it was Lent. And Trader Joe, they only had those like Langostino or those Argentinian shrimps. And I like to use colossal because I don't want the shrimp to overcook. So like the bigger the better for this. I work in the seafood department, it's true. See? See? See, guys, I'm just, I'm just here to drop knowledge, okay? You're welcome. Buy frozen. Like, you think you go to the fish market. Like, if you're going to a local fish market, probably not. But, like, shop right, stop and shop, whatever. They go right to their freezer section, the same shit that you're buying, and they take it out of the freezer, and that's what you're buying. So, since then, I haven't really been buying anything fresh. Unless it's local, yeah. Or I do have a nice little fish market here, which I did tell you guys about that uh, restaurant, La, La China Poblano or La China Poblano on Route 18. They, I don't know if they're the owners, but there's a fish market right next door. And first of all, I got seafood salad from them once and it was absolutely delicious. Like better than I've had it at pork stores. And um, everything was super fresh. Like if it's like a local store, maybe not. But those major corporations, for sure. I got these at Target. They were organic. Do I still have the bag? No. They were organic, um, good and gather, the good and gather brands, but colossal shrimp. 15 pound per pound. They were 15, uh, 13 to 15 a pound. Did you ever work before you became a mom? Yes, I, I literally worked my whole life. I just stopped working when I had my second kid. I did a ton of things. I started working when I was 13. I worked on Mulberry Street for like eight years in the city. Um, I worked in a hospital, I did dog grooming, but most recently, um, I also catered for a bunch of years. Most recently, I was doing medical billing and, or dental billing and coding. I worked for a great guy, loved him, still, still like love every girl in that office. 
But once I had Mariella, I just, I, I don't have, I don't have help here with my kids. It's hard, it's hard to do both. And if you're gonna pay for daycare, I don't know. If you're gonna pay for daycare, I don't know. You better be making more than what the daycare is. You know what I mean? Like the daycare around me for, I only worked three days. I worked Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like usually like eight to seven. And the daycare for the three full days like that by me was like $2,000 a month. And I was traveling to Staten Island to work. So I was literally paying the toll, paying the gas. And then I would also be paying the daycare for someone else to raise my children and for me to support someone else's business. You know what I mean? I'd rather pour, pour into my own family. And, you know, kids will grow up and eventually they're not going to need me anymore. And that's when I'll get a job and go back to work. I'm not someone to sit around. It's another reason why I started doing TikTok. Because the con you know, creating content keeps me busy and you know, I could be social with you guys. Yeah, so daycare, that was like it was like two thousand and it was only for Mariella. So I also have Serafina. So who's gonna pick Serafina up from school? The boogeyman? So it just didn't work out for us, you know, like if I was, if I had a career where I was making like more money than what I was putting out, then yeah. I mean, that's a different story, but everyone's circumstances are different. You know what I mean? Yes. It's temptations. <laughs> my mother is obsessed with temptations and she just like, I, they'll randomly be a temptation at my door one day. She loves temptations and she also loves QVC. So randomly she just ships shit to my house. Like the most random stuff. And I'm just like, where did this come from? It has to be my mother. I'm trying to keep up. You guys are like wild in here. What is going on? You're lucky my hands are dirty because I'd be blocking people left and right. Yeah, so I said if I was to go back, I would have someone like come in my house and I would just, you know, hire them to work in my home. Um, just cause I feel like I can put cameras everywhere, you know, I'm just like not in the position right now to do that. I'm still like in my stay at home mom phase right now and I'm just living for it. So this is some leftover breadcrumb. I'm just going to put these eggs in and I'm going to make something that my mother used to call a bread thing. And it's basically just like the eggy breadcrumb fried up. I'm gonna put my oil on. How old were you when you had first? I was 28 when I had Serafina, and I am 34 now. And I have I had Mariella like almost seven months ago. So what's the shop right seafood salad is sometimes sour. So I don't know if you were in the live earlier, but I said there was just this one shop right that the seafood salad was actually super fresh and delicious. And I drove out of my way to get that seafood salad. Um, but I, I don't buy it from like just any store, you know, I mean, it depends on the neighborhood that you're shopping in also. This is a set. It's from closet candy breadcrumb patties it's cute let me put the oven on too so i could just assemble it and put it right in the oven thank you Give me one second. I'm scrolling these comments. People have no fucking life, man. Okay, anyhow. Anyhow. Guys, honestly, I made the most money ever when I worked on Mulberry Street. When I worked on Mulberry Street, those, those men over there tipped. Let me tell you. But I was also so young and stupid. 
So I would just like be the people pleaser. I would take all my friends out and pay for everything and be like the cool friends, you know? Never. You never catch me dead doing that now, but you know, you live and you learn. You're stupid. I was stupid. <laughs> I met my husband on Plenty of Fish. I'm going to try to move you over now so you can watch me fry the shrimp. Plenty of fish, my hubby. But I met my husband, um, how long we been together now? Almost 11 years? Almost 11 years. Wow, it's crazy. It's like, it goes so fast. It's like absolutely insane. Trying to scroll up, guys, and read your comments. So just so you know, if you're asking me questions, I'm not ignoring you. That's so funny. Someone goes, my grandpa downloaded Plenty of Fish looking for a fishing buddy. I didn't even know they still have Plenty of Fish. Yeah, I'm sure. I didn't even know they still have it. Do, do they still have it? Newly pregnant and scared. Don't be scared. I mean, obviously, first time jitters is very nerve wracking. Potato and eggs, delicious. Did you have it on Italian bread? This was a while ago. He was so confused. <laughs> That's freaking hysterical. Oh my God. Did I always want kids? Yes, for sure. I, when I first graduated high school, I really wanted to go to culinary school. Um, I just put like a little bit of the breadcrumb in there to see if it fizzles. That's how you know your oil's hot. Uh, so I did want to go to culinary school. And in my family, like I came from a very old school Italian household. That was like considered not real college. So it was like frowned upon for me to do that. So I went to City Tech for psychology and I didn't want to do it. I kind of just like chose something because I knew I couldn't do what I really wanted to do. Long story short, I never finished because it wasn't what I wanted. But and you should learn from other people's mistakes and just let your kids do what they want to do. Literally, let them make their own choices. Their life, it's not your life. people like i don't have time guys i'm too busy frying my shrimp i gotta get some of those moderators in here for, them, for you guys to do it for me like i can't even find you user 89,000. take a walk bro like don't come on my shit and try to make try try to talk about politics first of all like you know anything all right guys Beautiful. What's up, babe? What's up? Can you get me a little baking dish for these? Yeah, yeah something I could put in the oven. So big. Mm. So big. Oh, that's okay. No, like, um, not that one. A little bigger than that. I like this one. It's perfect. That's perfect, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. I've used that so long, I feel like. I love this. Yeah. You mentioned that a lot. Sauce now? Oh, no, you just let it go. This is a full set. It's a matching set. It's from this brand, Closet Candy. I, I don't think you get it in stores. Someone I know was, like, selling for them. One of those, you know, like, we you sell the company's shit. And I bought a few sets because they were really cool. I've had them for a while, actually. I bought them before I even had Mariella. For more, that's good. I'm going to put it right in there, I think, actually. More? more? A little more, yeah. Yeah, but also, why are people, like, hating? Like, my, my, my life is not so attainable. It's, it's not something that no one else could have. You know what I mean? Work hard. Whatever. People are just fucking so miserable. Like, and the funny thing is, is user 79 whatever is probably writing that from, like, his mother's house, and he's probably on the family plan. He probably doesn't even pay his phone bill. <laughs> he probably doesn't even pay his own phone bill. 
I may need to do two of these, babe, because this is a these are fat shrimps. Look at this. Oh, oh. I may need another one. Maybe I'll use another little one. Parmigiana. Beautiful. I these, I can't believe I got these shrimps over there. Oh, it was actually the family plan. Like literally, you don't even pay your own phone bill. If you don't pay your own phone bill, don't come in my life. Oh, man, got the Boost Mobile. Literally, if you still gotta go by the minutes from the cell phone store, <laughs> take a walk. How did I come up with my kids' names? Someone I know, someone that I grew up with. Her name was Serafina, and I just always loved the name. Um, and Mariella, someone I know is friends with the Mariella. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to name my kid that. I, they're just very pretty names. Like if I can write back to every mean comment that someone sends me, cause I really can think of something snarky, you know, but I just don't, I don't have the time to do it for every single one. So the ones where I have something snarky and it comes to my head, I'll write that. And the other ones I just block because I have no patience. And I don't want to open up my social media every day and see toxic, like, mean shit either. So I do that for myself. Like, people tag their friends and talk shit in the comments. Like, bro, I'm going to block you. What, what do you think? I'm going to just let you talk shit? Internet gangsters. I said that they've obviously never been jumped in their life. Telephone cup guys. Yeah. Someone's like, oh, her husband must make a lot of money. I'm like, what do you mean? Do you know how much money, how expensive it is to live in New Jersey? I, you obviously don't. Maybe he makes a lot of money in like Arkansas. I mean, we're not we're not poor. We're living just fine. You know what I mean? But people like make this crazy assumption from a three second clip that you show them of your life. Like obviously my life looks perfect on the internet because why would I come on here and show the bad? Who wants to see the bad? Only the people that don't like you want to see the bad. You can keep your bad juju over there, okay? You trying to fix it for me? This is right back to the way it was. Okay. I think I can use this one too, baby. Yeah. You can do this melt cheese, right? Yeah, I know. I just didn't want to overcook them, I turned it down. You know, I actually said this recently because I, I did start writing a cookbook. I act, It was actually a keto cookbook because it was when I was on keto and I had like these crazy elaborate recipes. Um, but it just wasn't bringing me joy. Like I would totally prefer to just hop on the camera like one-on-one -on -one and do like cooking classes or even just like this, like tutorials with people. That's why everyone's telling me to download a YouTube. Let me just get my feet wet with TikTok. All right, I'm just getting used to and learning how to edit and like actually make my videos look somewhat semi good. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I just like honestly, that's that's what it is. Like I, t I talk shit to myself enough. I don't need to hop on social media, something that's supposed to be fun for me, and read like toxic shit all day. So I basically just block and block and block. And I mean, I'm completely cool with it, so. They obviously don't want to see my shit anyway. If you don't like me, why are you scrolling? Jealous. Crazy. Thank you. What's my favorite recipe? Favorite recipe? I don't know. Ordering takeout. Yeah, probably. Takeout. Sushi. <laughs> Sushi takeout. You're right, babe. I, I really do love cooking, but if I'm going to sit down and truly like enjoy a meal, I don't want to cook it. I don't want to clean it. Which is my husband's home. I don't clean it. Let's just be real. As much as I cook, I still love a good takeout, you know? You know what, babe? I think I'm just going to try to fit them all in here. Pasta with clams is probably something you really like. Pasta with clams. You know what I really love? Pasta con sardi, which is a St. Joseph's Day pasta. I will be making that this year. I make it every year. And you top it with, like, fried red corn. So good. Actually, it fits perfect in here, babe. Yeah. Would you look at that? Okay. Let me move this out of the way. 
Oh, that's so sad. I'm sorry about your mom. My grandma lives in Glendale, which isn't far from Middle Village. These kids are being awful quiet. They're good, though. What are they got? There's nothing in there. Oh, they're playing. Yeah, pasta con saudi. Love that so much. It's, um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a Sicilian thing. And it's basically like pasta. You guys are going to probably abuse me for this, but it's freaking delicious. I, gr I grew up eating it. It's pasta with sardines, um, raisins. raisins, capers, anchovies, fennel, and you top it with fried breadcrumbs, like breadcrumbs that you fry in olive oil. It's really friggin' good. I mean, that's something that I grew up eating. Plus, I had my um, uncle's name is Joe, so we like really always celebrated it. And then you get the St. Joseph pastries. I mean, who doesn't want the Zeppelins? The St. The St. Joseph Zeppelins. I sure do. Look it up, pasta con saudi. Someone's Sicilian. They're telling me never have that. I guess they were Ninth generation Sicilian. That's what they were calling me. <laughs> <laughs> 910 generation Sicilian. A little lifted out of there, don't I? Mm -hmm. Put some fresh basil. Left a couple of big leaves out. That. I put them in the sauce already. I put them in the sauce already. Do you have a shrimp oregano recipe? I think I may have one on my page somewhere. This is some fresh basil. I'm going to just top with it. Yeah, it's very hard for me to grow up not liking weird shit because I was the kid that got sent to school with sardine and onion sandwiches. Like, my my family ate weird shit. So, I was the one, like, with the pasta in the thermos. You were eating your ham and cheese sandwich. And my grandma was sending me with the smelliest shit. I mean, I loved it. I didn't, like, think it was a bad thing until people started making fun of me for it. But whatever. What happened to mine? Where's yours? It's over here. Okay. It's okay. We have another one. My kids go to bed at like 7.30, but it's, it's, it's a weekend, so they're chilling. I'm going to put this in the oven, and I'm going to put it on 450 because I just want the cheese to get melty. I'm going to put some cheese on it now, guys. Do you have a shrimp scampi recipe? Super easy. I was actually going to do shrimp scampi today, but my husband wanted this. Um, I do have um, a shrimp franchise recipe on my page. I don't think I have a shrimp parm recipe, but I have to look. If not, I could always make it. I mean, I basically, it's it's really just like garlic, olive oil, white wine, lemon juice, a little bit of stock. I could I could definitely do a video for you. This is just some shredded mutts. That's what I had. I refuse to buy any more cheese. I have so much cheese in my fridge right now. Yes, I'm gonna put the pasta water on too. Yeah, can you please? My social? What's my social? I wanna know what my social is, babe. Your social? <laughs> One, two, three, <laughs> four, four, four. I have a chefman, but I do not recommend it. I'm actually about to get another one, so don't don't even look at it. I, I don't hate it. It cooks really quick. I just feel like I, I'm not I'm not obsessed with it. What pot should you use? Because um, the pot they use for the sauce is probably the best one. I have more in the basement. Dutch oven? You can use the Dutch oven, yeah. But use the orange one, though. Yeah. I'm going to just wait for my oven to get to temp because I want this to just get bubbly. And then it's done. No, it's not a kasori. It's a what's that called? What? What's the air fryer called? Chefman. A chefman. I got it from Amazon. It sucks. 
it, it, it like works well, but I don't love it. I don't like, it has like a weird smell. I don't know if it's just me. Um, but you have to like pull it out because it gets super hot in the back. No, don't, don't like it. No, I'm going to save those. I'm going to make that tomorrow. Clams casino, it's like basically baked clams. I'm gonna move this stuff, babe. You can put it here. I'm gonna put this in the oven. Mm -hmm. Fucking hot. Is it? That's because the stove is on. Well, it was on. I'm just baking it for like what? Like two minutes, even if. She's Not even. My husband just put the pasta water on. This is just a little sauce left over simmering. I'm gonna put some fresh basil in it now. I have made chicken cacciatore, yes. Here you go. Thanks, babe. No, I have them as hard. My husband doesn't want them, so I'm gonna just make them tomorrow for Mariella. Make what? The bread things. I'm not gonna okay. I'm not gonna keep frying if I don't have to. It does nothing I hate more than sitting in front of a hot oil. I think that's from all my years of frying rice balls when I was catering. I like the smell of the oil is just like oh. Don't yeah. you remember that? With the, yeah. the apartment. We lived in a one bedroom apartment and we had like a whole catering business out of the apartment. And it was crazy. Like there was one point we were really freaking busy and around the holidays were insane. Um, but the smell of fried food in my house all the time, I hated it. I hated it. But nowadays you really just can't even do that shit because the cost of food is so expensive. I feel bad for anyone like One second. selling food nowadays. I really do. This is not the right cover, but hey, it works, babe. You did. So you did well. No, I realized that once I put it off. Yeah, it has a little wood cover. My hair is literally just in a pony. I didn't do shit. I, I got out of the shower. I let it dry naturally. My hair used to be really, really curly. And then years of like straightening it and ruining my curl pattern. I'm sure I could get it back if like I had the time to put like the product and stuff, you know? Would I ever use jarred sauce? Listen, there is certain brands like that you could buy and use jarred sauce, but also it takes you 30 minutes to make marinara. You, you, literally, you don't need to cook this long. It doesn't have tomato paste. You only need to really slow cook if it has tomato paste. Obviously, the longer you cook it, the better it's going to taste. You know what I mean? But you don't need to cook marinara long. You can even do like a quick cherry tomato sauce. And that only has to cook like 15 minutes. Do I prefer red or white? It depends what I'm eating. Like tonight we're having fish, so I'm eating, I'm, I'm you know, drinking white. But if I was having like steak, I would definitely have like a nice glass of red. Hi, Emerson, and hi, Lennon. You'd like to have my body shape. Guys, I'm just like, I just have a very big butt, okay? It's, my body's like fucking 60 pounds. It's not even normal. See, I don't even know how much the dry shampoo was because my hairstylist just like gifted that to me, which I thought was very, very nice of her. And I really like it. So now I'm going to have to buy it also. Any plans to go to Sicily? One day, sure. I would, I would like definitely on the list. How do I stay positive? It's some some days are better than others. You know, I feel like it definitely helps to. I've I've also, I've also said this before. Like you fake it till you make it. Like if you sit and wallow in your sorrow twenty four seven, it's never gonna get better. You're gonna be miserable every day because that's what you are, are putting on yourself. That's what you're putting in the universe. If you put in the universe, even if it's burning around you, if the world is burning, if you still put in the universe, like, listen, it's going to be okay. We're going to figure it out. Everything will work out. Like I said, some days are easier than others. I wasn't, like, taught how to cook. I grew up with my mother and my grandmother my mom was a single parent and my grandmother was like 
basically living with us um and i just was always in the kitchen with them i lost i'm actually losing my hair right now i i start losing my hair it happened the same thing with Serafina. this um like six seven months and now i'm starting to get like i'm losing it here it's actually just growing back you see these like little hairs um and also like here so it sucks but honestly you lose it and then it grows back the shit that women have to deal with babe they want to know if we ever fight Never. Never. No, we never fight. We never fight. Perfect. Of course we fight. Are you kidding me? But we have a thing where I feel like what we have accomplished over this time has been communication for sure. Like, I always say you can't, you have to tell the person exactly what you want. No one's a mind reader. I don't know what you're thinking. You don't know what I'm thinking. Ask for what you want. Ask for what you want, regardless of what it is, right? But also, I love to not go to bed angry. That's a big thing for me. Like, if you guys are fighting, we, we need to at least figure it out before we go to bed or we'll revisit the conversation in the morning. My pregnancies honestly were fine. I barely got sick. I used to just get really bad headaches with both of them. Um, I honestly barely got morning sickness, nothing. But I also, like, was exercising still. I was, like, keeping busy. I, um... Didn't have great labor with Serafina. Serafina, I had to have an emergency C-section. With Mariella, I had scheduled C-section, and it was like one, two, three. It was amazing. I mean, after the fact, my, you know, was hard, but it, having a schedule was, was amazing. Do I want more kids? Definitely not. You can't hold a grudge. You need to talk about it. Have I ever been to Casanova's? No. What, is, what type of food is it? <laughs> Communication is hard and it took us a very long time. I've been with my husband for almost 11 years. So, I mean. And we're still, we're, we're, we're still working on shit. I'm telling you something. Having kids is like the biggest test to your, to your marriage. Like, if, if you also don't have a healthy relationship before kids... Don't have children. I'm telling you. Because even with Serafina, like, I was super depressed after her. Like, I suffered with terrible postpartum with her. And I think it's because my labor was so terrible. My labor was, like, traumatizing. So I think that's why the postpartum hit me so hard with her. But there was, like, so, so long where I didn't even tell Tom. I was just, like, miserable and fighting with him. And I was, like, just putting all my anger on him. He didn't even know what was going on with me. You know? Now, the second time, like, he knew what to look for, but I also knew how to cope better the second time. And I was also in a completely different mind frame, so. Do I find adult friendships hard to maintain? It's, like, quite, po it's quite impossible to hold a friendship when you're an adult. I actually was just talking about this the other day. I made plans with my friend the other day. That was the day I went to prep coffee. And, like, the day of, Mariella was up all night. That was the day that, her, that the toy was going off in her room. The day of, I'm like... I don't, I don't want to go out. Like, I want to stay home today. I have shit to do. I'm exhausted. Like, I don't feel like getting dressed and, and leaving the house. But then I'm like, I also want to be a good friend, though. Like, I don't want to be the flaky friend that fucking cancels on you all the time. So I got dressed. I dragged Mariella out. And it was fine. Like, I was happy to see her. I was happy to have a cup of coffee, have a nice meal. Like, I need the social time, too. But it's also like... Oh God. You just feel bad. Like, you don't know who to make happy. The blanket, that's not my blanket, that's my cardigan. She can have it now. This is what my dog does. She goes around the house. And you ever know how they, how they say, like, cats make, make muffins? She makes muffins with whatever's on the floor. So somehow she got my cardigan on the floor. And she's making muffins, babe. Did you open this wine? No. Can you? Positive vibes only. I grew up in Howard Beach, Queens. I'm not from Jersey. I live in central Jersey now, like by the East Brunswick area. But I didn't grow up here. I grew up in Queens. I moved to Staten Island when I was like 26. I lived there for like three, four years. Maybe younger when I moved to Staten Island. Been in I've been in Jersey five years. I'm 34. And then I lived in Staten Island for like four years. 
So whenever Hurricane Sandy was, that's when I moved to Staten Island. And then I moved to Jersey. Shrimp's almost done, guys. Pregnancy headaches, absolutely miserable, guys. I used to just drink a ton of water. I would drink electrolytes here and there. You can take Tylenol, but now there's like all this shit with the autism and everyone's like scared to take Tylenol. They like make you scared to do anything as a pregnant woman. So honestly, headaches while pregnant are miserable because it's like such, I used to get them right behind my eyes and I felt like I couldn't even look in the light. I lived in Jersey for five years. I moved here when my daughter turned one and she's about to be six. Now I'm gonna leave the cabinet open actually so you can look at all my balls. My outfit is from Closet Candy. No, you can't take Advil. You honestly, they tell you that you can take Tylenol. So it is what it is. You're following what the doctor tells you, right? Yeah, postpartum was really hard. I didn't really know, like, what runs much in my family because I come from a household where, like, you don't talk about shit. Like, that's why it was so hard for me to work on communication with my husband because we come from a place where it's, like, it happens, but we don't talk about it. So it just is what it is. Like, everyone just goes on about their day and acts like nothing happens. I can't live my life like that outside of my family. Um, so how I'm, like, trying to make my household different is by constantly talking about shit. I don't care. Talk until you're blue in the face. I want to hear about it. What? Tips for starting baby led weaning. Um, how old is your baby? You have to get the biggest piece of food you can. Don't listen to my husband. He's very brave. Grew up eating that you're completely sick of. Sauce. Literally. Sauce. My husband is a hardcore sauce guy to the day he dies. Yeah, you... All right, listen. I come from... My mother is a great person. I, I love it to death. My grandmother, beautiful people. My grandmother's dead now. But I feel like my mom had... You know, she was dealt certain cards, and she, she did the best with what she was dealt. You know? She was a single parent. She worked three jobs. I was with my grandma a lot because she was my caretaker at the time. And, like, I saw my mom, but she was always so fucking exhausted. And can you blame her? You know what I mean? So now I feel like we're trying to work on our relationship a little better. I'm not really cooking much right now. I just have pasta water boiling and my shrimp is in the oven. Babe, like a half a pound? Yeah. I'm going to put... Some pasta in. Tom wants angel hair. Um, I really just feel like you have to break the cycles. You know what I mean? I'm just putting the pasta in the water. I didn't really have pregnancy cravings, honestly. I wasn't someone that, like, craved things. What did I want when I was pregnant? Sushi. Always sushi. Nice. I ate. I ate sushi when I was pregnant. Yeah, like, and I don't want to blame her either because she, she was dealing with, you know, who even knows what she was dealing with? I couldn't even imagine. I mean, now I I remember things that I've seen then, and I'm like, okay, like, now I know. But how did I find out you were pregnant? Well, I stopped getting my period, so that was, like, the you just sign. Why did you put the Valentina in here? Are you out of your mind? Are you nuts? Where's my arm oil sprayer? Your what? My arm oil sprayer. 
I'm not having any more kids. I'm definitely not. The cabinet's still open. I'm not closing it. Now I'm going to leave it open on purpose, okay? <laughs> if anybody knows me, my cabinets are open all the time, literally. Yeah, I give single moms literally so much credit. Like, I'm not even kidding. You people deserve, like, everything. So when was the first, did you, did you try giving him solids yet? I live in New Jersey. I'm not gonna, I mean, I, I live in the East, the East Brunswick area, so. My husband comes around and closes them behind me. I'm just making the pasta. Hello. Have I been to the American Dream Mall? No, I, I mean, I heard there's like a ton of shit to do there, but it's like, is it like always super duper crowded? Cause I hate that shit. I hate going around huge crowds. I really do. And not because I'm like scared of anything. I just don't want to be like that close to people. Personal space, like get off my ass. You never heard of personal space? I heard it was also like super overpriced. If I'm gonna spend four hundred dollars there, I'll go stay the whole. I'll go stay somewhere for like the night. I'll go to. I'll go to Hershey for the night. I'm not gonna go to the American Dream Mall and spend four hundred dollars. No, Seraphine is on here. I just don't make my TikToks pertaining just to my kids. Like my TikTok isn't for my kids. They're in some videos because they're part of my life, but it's not for my kids. Babe, can you train this pasta for me? Please, and maybe open me some wine or pour me some wine. Yeah, you gotta just go get D head. What's a D head? head? She said the word? No. Oh. Yeah, I took Seraphina to Hershey last year. She freaking loved it. My husband does like hybrid work. He goes to the office some days and he works from home some days, but very rare does he work from home because he hates working from home. Because he says, you hate working from home. He says, we're too loud. We're too loud. My shrimps are good, I just checked them. I'm waiting like another two minutes. I wanted to put a little olive oil on them, but I couldn't find my sprayer. What, baby? It's from Does it? Yeah, it's from Hershey. Oh, okay. What? Serafina said it smells delicious. Better, uh, I need to get better pot holders. You guys heard my fiasco with my pot holder. I threw them out because they were Christmas pot holders, but I didn't replace them before throwing them out. So now I just don't have pot holders. Oh. <laughs> now I'm just using dish towels. No, 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 in that one, in that one. Okay. I gotta uh, drain the pot in there. See? The dish towel? I mean the pot holder. <laughs> Did I have a big wedding? Me and my husband got married at City Hall and then we bought a house. Yeah. So my big wedding was my house. Hotel Hershey, man, nice. That's exactly where we stayed. I love it there. Indoor water park. It was very, very nice. Me and my husband said we'll definitely we'll definitely take them back. Yeah, I mean, you guys see my kids. I have them in some of my videos, but my my whole vibe isn't to put my kids on the internet 24 seven. Watch out, coming in hot, coming in hot. And when they're in my videos, they're very quick. Can I have the paper for this? Do I like Bad Bunny? Yes, for sure. I have no idea what they're saying, but I will jam to that shit. My husband working from home throw my day off for sure, because then I feel like I need to like tiptoe around the house, even though he says I don't, I still feel like I need to. 
I'm gonna pour the pasta over, the uh, sauce over the pasta, because you have to toss it. You can't just put raw pasta in a plate. Babe, tell him to come over if he's hungry. My bad birthing experience. So with Serafina, I was, I took the shrimp out, guys. I'm just waiting for it to cool. I'm going to hop on for like another five and then we're going to go eat. I gave birth to her. So, okay. So first of all, I went to the hospital. I was, I was in labor. I went to the hospital, but my water didn't break. So they sent me home and they were like, yeah, just walk around the block a few times and drink electrolytes. These were the exact words. Okay. This is what Serafina. Walk around the block a few times and drink electrolytes. Okay. So I went home, right? This was like 11.30 at night. Went home, go to get into bed, and my water breaks. So I had to go right back to the hospital because my water broke, right? The whole time I was pregnant with this, the gynecologist that I had, I had a different gynecologist with Mariella, obviously. This was all in Staten Island. This is when I lived on the island. And the guy, I was telling him, my mother had three, two C-sections. My sister had four C-sections. I'm not going to be able to give birth naturally. It's not going to happen. Like, and I know there's women out there that say, even though, even though, the, you know, your family has it, you could still do it. And it's like, I was down to try, but I tried, I tried. And he had me in labor for, honestly, I can't even like remember. It was such a blur. It was a very, very long time. He had me like like doggy position pushing like he had me all over the table it was very very embarrassing and he just did not want to give me a c-section and my baby's heart rate kept dropping i was like exhausted i literally stopped pushing and i was like either you give me a c-section or we're all dying because i'm not i'm literally not doing this no more long story short i ended up having a c-section and then he actually the doctor pulled my husband aside after i gave birth and apologized to yeah. him because he said I would have never been able to pass her naturally because she was under my rib cage. Like, obviously, I'm, I'm telling you something's not right. I'm the one that's doing this. This is angel hair. And I just put, my husband made marinara sauce. I put marinara on it. And we made shrimp parm. Looks delicious. I'll probably do a mukbang tonight with my family. But... I love angel hair, guys. My favorite pasta. I was going to do spaghetti squash. Okay? But my husband's like, how are you going to make shrimp palm and not make pasta? Shrimp palm, you just fry up shrimp the same way you fry up a cutlet and you put sauce and cheese on it. Yeah, so we ended up being fine, but... Um, Dr. Gary Spira, I'll actually say his name because I li literally couldn't stand him. Gary Spira. I'm pretty sure he's actually, um, whatchamacallit. I think he's retired now. No, Campanella, actually, someone I know goes to him. Um, I, um, Dr. Gary Spira. And then there was a woman, Uma Thurman, I think her name was. I went to her. She, he was like passing me off to her too. I didn't like that office at all. Come here, Can you put the clothes in the dryer? Can you put the clothes in the dryer? I love spaghetti squash. The next time I cook it, I will do a tutorial. Uma Thurman. Yeah, but this was... Was that any... No, Tubman. Uma... <laughs> Uma Tubman. Was it Uma Tubman? I can't be Harriet Tubman. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know, guys. But it was something Tubman. So, just look out for that also. <laughs> Something Tommy. Do you remember her name, babe? What? Who was the other doctor I went to that worked in Spears over? The, the woman. I don't remember her name. Tubman? Yeah. But what was her first name? I don't remember. I don't know. It was, yeah, it was like, it was Doctor. Some, 
It was something like that. Oh, guys, don't listen to me. But Ina, Ina, I think it was Ina. Yep. Yes, it was. It was Ina. Yes. Her, I didn't hate. I, I didn't hate her. She was nice. She just called me fat all the time. Every time I went there, she called me fat, right? I was heavier with Serafina. Like, when I had Serafina, I was, like, 300 pounds. And she um, would call me fat all the time, which, okay, that's what they got to do, I guess. But she also was like, don't go home and drink juice, and don't go home and drink soda, and don't eat cookies and cakes. Like, first of all, I don't drink soda. I don't drink juice. And I don't really eat cookies and cakes, but okay. People think that because you're fat, you just sit around eating cupcakes all day. But okay. okay. Terrible bedside manner, but I mean, I don't know. I didn't like that whole, the whole office, I hated them. This was, now she opened up her own practice now on, um, I think it's Arthur Kill in Richmond. This is, look at Seraphine's outfit. Do a spin, baby girl. No. All right, but we're gonna hop off because we're gonna eat. The food's done. All right. So if you wanna set them up. Yep. Can you help Daddy set the table, please? No, I want to help. I want your hands. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Thank you. Give me your hands. Watch out, baby. The stove is hot. I never had diabetes, no. Never had any of that. I, my, my pregnancies were textbook. My blood work is textbook. That's literally what the doctors tell me. Doctors, mama, mama, ooga, ooga. But I'm going to hop off. We're going to eat. I know there's a ton of people on here, but... Bye. Bye. It's dinner time, guys. Thank Bye. you so much. Thanks for joining. Bye. It was Bye. fun. <coughs> Fina, 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 Fina. Fina, Fina, Fina. Fina, Fina. Fina. All right, guys. Bye. Happy Friday. And if you have no kids, enjoy your kid-free night, okay? Happy Friday. Bye, <laughs>